Hello everyone, my name is Gaurang Gupta and today we will be doing another machine learning project which is Android Malware Detection. In this we have a CSV file which contains certain attributes or variables. So here it is given that the first 214 variables are permission based features. Like whenever we download an app it asks for certain permissions like it can access contacts, camera, data etc. And other parameters from 215 to 241. These are API based features. These are not visible to end users. It is inside that application. Only the person who knows how to deal with that application code can see these API based features. And then there are two classes in class variable, malware and goodware. Goodware is uh, the software which is good and malware we all know the viruses and all that stuff. So you can also see tags. This is a classic classification problem or you can say a binary classification problem. So uh, wait a minute. Here you can see the CSV file and let me add another variable here which is class. Here the um, parameter is label class same thing. Here you can see we have uh, malware, goodware and uh, I want you to remember this other, this other one. This is the quantity, but there are so many rows that it is uh, not possible to describe that in percentage. Here you can see, wait a minute. There are 4,465 instances, means there are 4,465 rows out of which only one row is present, which has the, this other value. So it is easy to remove that rather than to deal with it. Now let's move on to code. First, we will import all the necessary libraries. So, import numpy, numpy as np, import pandas as pd, import os, import matplotlib, matplotlib.py plot as plt from sklearn.preprocessing processing import label encoder label encoder then from sklearn dot model selection import train test split then from sklearn dot svm import svc from sklearn dot matrix import confusion matrix and accuracy score confusion matrix accuracy score from ml extend extend dot plotting import plot confusion matrix confusion matrix from imb learn I am be learn dot oversampling import smote import seaborn as SNS from sklearn dot linear model import logistic regression logistic regression from sklearn dot ensemble ensemble import random forest classifier forest classifier gradient boosting classifier data boost classifier data boost classifier from sklearn dot tree import decision tree decision tree classifier from sklearn dot neighbors import k neighbors classifier import xd boost as xdb from sklearn dot gaussian process Import Gaussian process classifier. Gaussian 
process classifier from sklearn dot gaussian process dot kernels import rbf from sklearn dot neural networks import mlp classifier mlp classifier now run it so our code executed properly now let's move on to next section which is data uploading now for this first we will use a variable path which will be an empty string for now then for dir name comma underscore comma file names in os dot walk slash kaggle slash input then for file name in file names path will be equal to os dot path dot join dir name comma file name then data will be equal to pd dot read csv csv then columns will be equal to list data dot columns and print columns and data dot head run it and now we have a list of all the columns and we also have first five rows of the data so you can see the data which we have given and the label so now let's move on to next section which is data pre-processing now for data pre-processing first we will remove all the null values so data will be equal to data dot drop na then lb will be equal to label encoder encoder data label will be equal to lb dot fit transform data label print lb dot classes and then data dot head run it you can ignore this warning and uh, here here you can see now the label is in the numeric form first it was uh, like malware goodware so it has assigned class 1 to malware and 0 to goodware so now let's move on to next section which is data visualization first we will use data.describe to get some basic parameters about our data so here you can see we have all the columns and their count mean maximum so you can check that out here you can see we have all the columns and are labeled too then uh, we will code the plots like comma ax not ax axis will be plt dot subplots 41 comma 6 you can change this number i got to this number by trial and error 150 comma 150 then axis will be equal to axis dot travel then for call comma ax in zip columns comma axis plot will be equal to sns dot test plot data call comma kde will be true then start will be density density and ax will be ax then plot dot set x label label all comma font size will be equal to 35 then plot dot set y label density comma font size will be equal to 35 
then plt dot show run it so now our code is executed as you can see we have uh, the plots for each column and uh, their density you can ignore these empty plots because we have nothing so here you can see the plot different plots you can see that there is not much space so you can change the size and you can also change the font size here you can use uh, let's say 40 45 so do it accordingly now let's move on to next section which is removing class inequalities for this first we will use y will be equal to data label then x will be equal to data dot drop label axis will be one then smote will be equal to smote then x smote comma y smote will be smote dot fit transform not fit transform fit tree sample fit tree sample x comma y then print original data set shape that will be y dot shape print p sample data set shape that will be y smooth dot shape then ones will be zero zeros will be equal to zero for i in y smooth If i is equal to 1, not 2, 1, then 1's plus equal to 1, else 0's plus equal to 1. Then print 1's, comma, 0's. Run it. And now you can see the entries we have in original sample, then after resampling, and here concentrate on this now for both of the classes we have equal number of entries this is the best case because now we can say that yes the model either get trained very ba badly or it is very good so this is uh, the benefit of removing class inequalities now let's move on to next section which is training different models for this first we will use x train comma x test comma y train comma y test this will be equal to train test split x mode comma y mode comma test size will be 0 0.2 that means 20 percent and run then random state will be zero you can use any random state then models will be equal to svc support vector then logistic regression logistic regression logistic regression then decision tree decision tree classifier max depth will be 7 and then decision tree decision tree then random forest random forest classifier and estimators will be 10 estimators will be 10 and random forest then a neighbors classifier class C n neighbors will be 7 k neighbor then xtb dot not xbg xgb dot 
xdb classifier objective binary colon logistic then random state will be 42 xg boost xg boost then ada boost classifier ada boost classifier and estimators will be 25 Data boost then MLP classifier random state will be one max iterations will be 300 and MLP classifier MLP classifier then Gaussian Triple S, double S, Gaussian process classifier, kernel will be RBF 1.0, random state will be 0, Gaussian process, Gaussian process. then gradient boosting classifier classifier and estimators estimators will be 50 L learning rate will be 0 0.1 max depth will be 10 random state will be 0 then gradient boosting and then lastly this is the last model and model accuracy will be an empty array or list or i in models name will be equal will be i1 model will be i0 and name model dot fit x train comma y train not gene y train and y pred will be model dot predict test accuracy will be equal to accuracy score comma y test comma y pred into 100 to convert it into percentage print accuracy cnf will be confusion matrix y test comma y pred Big comma ax will be plot confusion matrix on mat will be cnf then model accuracy dot append name comma accuracy then plt dot show and for space print new line Now run it. So it is executing and it is printing the accuracies and confusion matrix of different models. So give it some time. Now our code is executed completely and you can see the accuracy and confusion matrix of different models. Here you can see we have executed till gradient boosting. Now let's move on to next part. 
where we will find which is the best performing model. So max model will be an empty string. Max accuracy will be zero for i in model accuracy. If max accuracy is less than i1, then max accuracy will be i1 and max model will be i0. Then print most accurate model, most accurate model, max model, max model, then print most accuracy achieved not model accuracy, most accuracy achieved will be max accuracy percentage sign. Run it. And here we can see we have random forest classifier as the best performing model and it gave us 99.57% of accuracy, which is a very good accuracy. So now our project is complete thank you all for watching the video if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts or anything you want to say do approach the comment section so let's meet in the next video till then bye bye